<clears throat> so I um, was not expecting to do this again so soon. All these people want to come up to me and be like, I don't know what certain songs mean. <clears throat> I'm here to tell you that uh, this is a, a close song of mine, pun intended. Um, it's a song by the Chainsmokers featuring Housie, Closer. This song was a big summer song. I'm not sure if you guys remember that, but it was, it was playing everywhere over the summer. I can't remember if it was, uh, yeah, I think it was last summer. I don't really remember. But, um, so the problem with this is that mostly everyone has seen the music video. So we already have preconceived conceptions, misconceptions about what the song is about. I'm gonna try to just reference the lyrics alone, but like I am biased because I'm, I'm well aware of the scenario that the music video portrays, which I don't think is exactly what the lyrics portray. So if you're asking me what I think the song means lyrically, on paper, reading the lyrics, listening to them, but ignoring the music video, then this is this is your video then if if it's not then i don't know what to tell you um please like and subscribe thanks for stopping by um <clears throat> okay so um, we're not going to do every single lyric because you know like we, we all know the lyrics whether you want to admit them or not <clears throat> um so the first so the first verse right here um hopefully you can see this um that's um the fact that uh the nice to meet your friends and and they hope to never see them again that implies it implies a little bit that there was a formal relationship that occurred between the characters in the song um, so if you if you go down to the pre-chorus right here so you're gonna you're gonna see basically Basically, this is sort of what happened to me because um, when I got to Vegas, um, one of the first people that I sort of met besides my roommates was my um, my girlfriend of two years at the time before before it was ended because, you know, that's what I do. I end relationships and then they end. They just end magically somehow. I don't know how they end. They just end. Um, so now that the chorus, everyone knows the chorus, so like, so basically this is character development in this chorus right here, I'm sure you'll see. For the longest time I thought bite that tattoo on your shoulder was like that tattoo on your shoulder. I, I, I'm not 100% um, in agreement with what that means, but um, I assume it's some sort of, some sort of sexual biting reference I, I don't know I, know, I didn't say I was an expert at this I said I know what the song lyrically means so like you know before we go any further <clears throat> so Wikipedia says the song is about two people a guy and a girl and they want to know a female opinion about something no I'm just kidding there's a guy and a girl and um, they uh, they form a relationship but they break up unexpectedly but the next time they meet they have a romantic attraction again like that's that was sort of almost plagiarizing wikipedia right there so but again the video if you watch the video the scene the, the pool party scene and to me implies that this was their second meeting this is what sparked the romantic chemistry again Cause like they had met and dated before the pool party scene before that timeline and this was their second meeting a lot of people think the first meeting was was them meeting for the first time and then becoming involved in a formal relationship but that's not how i interpret it because if you look at the end towards the end of the video the, the later scenes um you know they flash back back and forth from them if you look at the second part of the video they're in a hotel bar, more importantly, and um, there's no attraction whatsoever. In, their, in terms of their faces, if you see the way they look at each other, 
that that is not that is not like a re rekindled attraction the way they look at each other it almost looks like they're afraid of each other i know that's stretching it a bit but watch their facial expressions like they're looking at each other and there's no smile there's there's a sense of desperation in my opinion and that's just because maybe more so the guy rather than the girl was the guy was wanted to he wanted answers he wanted to find out if there's ever a chance that in my opinion that the relationship could be reunited and if you look at Halsey's character her face she's like she has she has nothing she wants nothing to do with this and that's exactly why she leaves without saying anything to him and he's the one that follows her but she doesn't just sprint away ignoring him she chooses to turn around and to look at him and that's the end of the video great great ending of the video but um so you, you understand my discrepancy with what the video implies versus what the lyrics imply the lyrics if, if there was no music video to the song the lyrics imply that their relationship was at the pool party you know like I'm, I know I said the vi assuming there was no video but like the first encounter was the formation of the relationship but in the video I reiterate the first meeting was before that timeline before the pool party and it reunited and then they separated again and the the hotel bar scene that's like the third that is the third encounter of them potentially re-sparking reigniting this romance but anyway we've uh, ignored the lyrics long enough so i'm gonna say okay so, so there's some regret here um you look as good as the day I met you. I forgot just why I left you. I was insane. Um, you know, oh, for you, those of you that don't know, the um, they, they actually do make a reference to uh, an actual Blink-182 song. I think it was called I Miss You or something. Um, I, I think they were listening to that song while working on the song, so they just gave credit to it. Um, but yeah, so... It's it's a somewhat very repetitive song, but it's catchy. It's catchy, you know, and that's that's what it takes sometimes. But um, yeah, um, I don't know what else to say about the song. I mean, um, um, a lot of the lyrics do imply they're younger because, you know, they're they they had roommates. Um, they um, they had a lot of memories of the past and like assumedly past conversations past experiences that they brought with them to this attraction and the 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 lyric that's repeated the most throughout this entire song i believe i believe the lyric that's repeated the most is we ain't ever getting older so if that doesn't imply that at some point there was a guy and a girl and they had a relationship when they were young and they feel like there's more than enough time in the world for them to either make things work or maybe it's just a physical attraction and that's what a lot of young people think they think they're never going to get older and is that a mindset of course um i'm doing the carmel anthony right here doing the carmel um damn i gotta make a basketball video damn but uh, I don't know, I can't get in this bubble shit. Anyway, going back to the, the chain smokers, um uh yeah um <clears throat> Andrew Taggart, um I think that's how you say his name. That's the uh he's the um the face of the chain smokers. Um the other guy who also makes an appearance in that pool party video, he um I think he just does the beats. Um I think he does a little bit of singing. But um yeah, Andrew Taggart, he's he's the guy with the good looks and the arguably good voice arguably i don't know i mean with a song like this with the beat and the lyrics like this how do you fuck up this song honestly like how do you fuck this up i don't know but um people coming up to me trying to tell me what songs are about 
when essentially it's what is that song about to you so this is what I'm doing I'm sharing what I think the song is about to many people because I feel that I am right and that my analysis of the song and potentially the music video is accurate that's what I'm gonna say like this isn't fucking rocket science here guys like if you read the lyrics if you watch the video you understand what I mean there is some ambiguity that's all I'm saying like I just want to throw that out there like not everything is as black and white and clear cut as it seems but um alright guys so uh I went on a long rant right there so um yeah um, I'll talk to you guys later then alright have a good night guys